Hello and welcome to How to Start a Board Game Company. I'm Jay Cormier from Off the Page Games. Well, day one is in the books and wow, I'm, I'm super pumped, super jacked. I'm um, so humbly thankful for all the backers that have supported um, the game. It uh, For those that aren't in the know or maybe uh, you're watching this way later, uh, the game funded in about 14 hours. So that was 45,000 Canadian, uh, which is totally amazing. Just mind-blowing and as of today is day two right now for me um we're already up to uh 57,000 58,000 canadians so already past two stretch goals and one more within within reach today uh so what today's all about is i want to just talk about day one what what are all the things i did on day one because it it was busy it was hectic it was crazy it was fun it just being pulled in all directions so uh, I made sure that uh, we had coverage for childcare. That I obviously took the day off work. That uh, I was just focused on this the entire day, and that was that's mandatory. If you're running a Kickstarter campaign, you need all your wits about you, uh, possibly even more than that, more wits. If you have other people that can help do certain things, that would probably be wise because I was just doing it all myself, myself meaning just the behind the scenes. All the backers and Sen and Matt and other supporters were helping, you know, communicate and post things out and everything. So that's amazing. So let's go through the details of the things that I was doing. So um, just about to hit go, like a few minutes beforehand, and I get a message from a friend saying, hey, something in your reward levels is inconsistent with what's posted on the site. And I'm like, what? So I'm like, I literally was so close to just saying, let's go. And I looked at it and there was a pricing difference. There was, I'm like, oh my goodness, that would have been horrendous. I would have been explaining that for the entirety of the campaign because once somebody backs something and clicks a reward level, you cannot change that content. You cannot alter it because that person's backed it and that's what they backed it for is that. So you can't change it. So double, triple, quadruple check that your reward levels are worded perfectly. And if you have like dollar amounts in there of any kind, be sure they're exactly what you want them to be. So I got that changed. Thank you so much to Graham Yons, my uh, co-designer for In the Hall of Mountain King. He <laughs> caught that and saved me a lot of grief. So that's great. So I clicked go. What's the first thing I did? First thing I did was I created reference tags. What are reference tags? Well, you can only do this once you launch Kickstarter. And once you do, uh, and it's weird, I wish they could, would allow this ability beforehand. I'm not really sure why they don't allow it beforehand. But uh, once once you launch it, you go in here, and it's it's pretty straightforward. You actually type in whatever you want, whatever you're going to uh, call it. Maybe a certain site, maybe it's a certain Facebook group, maybe whatever it is. But anywhere where you're going to give this link to somebody, create a reference tag and then give them that link. Then when people click on it and then come here and if that turns them into a buyer, so you can track right here on the Kickstarter dashboard where all of your backers came from. So if they use a specific one of your uh, reference tagged links, it'll tell you right here. For example, um, the Hollywood Reporter, they had a very specific link. Boom. I send that out to as many people as I could think of. And <clears throat> um, even for I had the uh, awesome privilege of being part of the Burnt Island Games family and so they sent out <clears throat> an update yesterday um, telling them about the progress of things that have been happening with the campaign there's still some last minute shipping pe things that are happening for some people who still haven't received it in hard to reach countries uh, but then she was so gracious Helena and offered to uh, um, kind of uh, promote my game within there so that was really nice of her and you can see I gave her a reference tag and you see already there's been uh, 22 people have already uh, back my game because of that um, tag. So that's really neat to follow along and see where all your backers are coming from. So that was the first thing. Now, uh, after that, of course, I posted uh, that we're live on my Off the Page Game website, my own Facebook page, of course. Um, but I had, one thing I forgot to do is I didn't create like a we're live graphic, like come, you know, come back us now kind of thing. And so I kind of made one really quick uh, and posted that out. So that was a few minutes of uh like frantic like ah what am i gonna post throughout the rest of the day i was on the facebook's and the twitters and the instagrams just um uh, sharing all sorts of there's a lot of news sources that started carrying uh this this uh, news that we were live that this and it's just a wild we had somebody help us with the pr and get out this information a bunch of different sites and just amazing help. And um, so I just resharing out like, hey, now this site's talking about us. Now this site's talking about us. So that was cool. But then also throughout the day, just my Twitters and my Facebooks was just exploding all the time, just growing in numbers because people were sharing and talking about the game, which was so nice and commenting on it. And 
I really feel I want to make sure I have a personal connection with everybody that does this. So I have to go on and I have to comment. I'm like, thank you so much. This means the world to me. It's amazing. Um, and that takes time. So you got to do a lot of that kind of social media upkeep. Um, uh, then I also had to create the FAQ. So I had already pre-created the FAQ, kind of written it all out. So then you have to copy and paste it because you can't do that again until Kickstarter is live. Uh, I also got the new Quackalope video in the day of. So this was a uh, how to play and it was a lengthy one, but a really in, uh, in-depth and very um, personable way of doing it. So I had to watch that in between doing all these other things. <laughs> Uh, and then one thing that take, took the longest time is thanking every single backer. So I go into ev the backer report and then I go into every single backer. I first thanked all of the people who, who pledged uh, the 250 Canadian dollar level because they got a, um, a special piece of art. So I had a, a specific message to t tell them. I personalize it with their name, take a little bit of time, sometimes even uh, spend a little extra extra care and, and give them a, um, some extra comments, especially if I recognize them. Maybe they were part of the fail faster uh, Kickstarter and I recognize their name um, or what have you that takes a long time just like throughout the day I'm just always going back and just going in and thanking people then then of course and I'd even thank the people back for a dollar that's a key thing that uh, to make sure you have is that one dollar option I strongly believe that's a, a great thing to offer and I called it the pledge one dollar to follow and comment because that's basically the, the be benefits advantage you get for even backing for a dollar is it allows you to follow along get all the updates that I'm going to be sending out to the backers. You'll get them all. Um, and it allows you to comment in the comment section. And that's important for me because my campaign has a few activities, a secret mission and a game that uh, I want everybody to play along. And so I even went in and thanked those people too uh, for backing because that's important. Um, then there's questions coming in on Kickstarter. So answering those as they're coming in, even some on social media, answering those about, uh, hey, how much to ship to this and all these just various questions. Just always answering all sorts of questions and setting up some some meetings this is going to be a thing that's going to happen to you if you launch on kickstarter you're going to get a lot of messages from people that want to help you um which is great but uh you have to prune it you have to you have to be selective and so um i've got one meeting set up with jellop um that became highly recommended as a, as a company that will help get the word out in a very uh, efficient way and so i've had that meeting tomorrow and then i have a meeting with a, a fulfillment partner uh, potential on Friday so that's cool um, but you got to watch out so many people want to help get the word out so be cautious uh, then at 5 30 we had the board game spotlight live playthrough uh, with Derek and Lizzie and it was funny to watch but it was frustrating because they had some internet issues and things were just kind of hiccuping and it was very frustrating so they promised that they're going to play it again on the weekend as a record and just record it so not live and then we'll post that up so we'll see how that goes um, but it was also funny because I was like trying to communicate to Derek because he was doing some things that were um, not the best way of doing it. Everyone plays differently. It's totally fine. But I was trying to help him. I'm like, hey, don't do that. And hey, remove. Hey, watch out for this. And he wasn't seeing it. And uh, it was very funny because he just assumed once he had some information that she was going a certain direction and she was then therefore up here. And eventually uh he revealed a token that he thought would be eight or nine or something like that and it was one it was number one and he's like what it was a great moment in the game because he's like what it just his mind exploded because he had the opposite assumption to the whole game so that that part was really cool uh it's just the internet was just uh doing something wonky or youtube or something was was wonky i'm not sure um then i i uh had to write out uh, an update for the end of the day um, uh, saying thank you so much because we funded and everything like that. And my updates usually, I like to cover uh, what happened. So you talk about here's what happened um, that's been exciting. Here's what's next. Uh, talk about maybe the next stretch goals that are coming up or something that uh, is going live. Maybe you have a, a playthrough or live live event or an Ask Me Anything or something that's going on. Talk about that. And then a small section on how to help. Um, I try to keep this as small as possible because we all know how to help um you know hey please share on social media so i try to make this stand out and say a few different things than, than uh, usual um then i send emails to individual friends and family that i saw that didn't back and i saw because i emailed every single backer so i knew which of my friends did and didn't back uh -huh. which are true friends no i'm just kidding and it wasn't to uh, my emails aren't to ask them to back it it's not that I, I i'm just so proud of the campaign that i just wanted to show people what I put together 
check out the video i really love the video check out the page just just kind of get a glimpse of uh what my life is like this is this is what my life's all about right now so um that thought that was kind of cool then have have some ongoing concerns as we uh learn that dark horse and dc uh and many um many artists and creators have backed out of going to emerald city comic con which we're all planning to go to next weekend to do some demos of mind management i was lucky enough to get a table there and uh, now a lot of people are backing out um including matt matt kent is now not going because dark horse isn't going his publisher's not going so he has no reason to go uh, he was not he's not gonna have the books there to sign or anything so it's no reason so that kind of sucks because that would have been super fun to hang out with him all weekend so now i'm not sure they haven't canceled yet they've put out a, a communication saying that they're not canceling um so that's good so i might still go uh, I don't know. <laughs> I want to go because it's free table that I can use to demo and there, there still will be people there. So we'll see as we get closer. Um, let's see if more information comes to light. So that's something that's been on our minds. Uh, and then pretty much the rest of the time uh, was pretty much just hitting refresh, refresh, refresh and trying to watch. And it's just watching the numbers grow. It's fascinating and rewarding. It's uh, one of your best days of your life when you put so much energy and passion into uh, one project and to finally see it come alive like that on day one um, if it does for you that is uh, amazing and I was just had such an amazing day yesterday um, which will probably only be beaten by the day where you actually get to hold the actual final copy in your hands that's uh, that's gonna be amazing so that's it that's what day one's all about now I'm on to day two I've got a lot of stuff to get going I'll see you when I have time to do another update video uh, for you guys hopefully by the end of the week and we'll see what's going on all right thanks for joining us take care